Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. Uh, this is a very simple tutorial on how to add a blog to uh, your existing website. Now, th th there's many different types of blogging platforms you can choose from. I have a link on my latest blog post which, will, uh, which reviews the top three and, and shows a comparison. In this tutorial, I'm only talking about WordPress because I specialize in WordPress. I don't, uh, I don't specialize in other blogging platforms. It's WordPress is enough, um, and, and it is the most popular blogging platform available. Now, if you want to install WordPress on an existing website, you've basically got two options, um, and they are where do you install WordPress. There's two separate locations, or what they call in the industry directories. And you can either have it uh, blog.yourdomain.com or you can have yourdomain.com uh, slash blog. In that case, it'd be in a subdirectory. If it's blog.yourdomain.com, it'll be called it what they call a subdomain. So if you're wanting to ta take the first option, you'll have to set up a subdomain, and it's very easy to do. You can do that in your control panel at your, uh, on your web server. Uh, depending on which web host you use, if you're using cPanel then it's very very easy. Uh, I've provided a link on how to do that because I've written a full tutorial on how to create a subdomain uh, with a corresponding video as well and a link to another video from the web host and provider so it's very simple to create that and, uh, and once you do that you install WordPress to that location which I'll show you now how, how to install it and with this one here basically you just install WordPress and when it asks you where you want to install it you just add blog so it will install your domain forward slash blog so that will be in a subdirectory um, so it's very simple to, in to install WordPress to an existing website as long as you're using cPanel if you're not using cPanel and your web, uh, your web server is managed by uh, another type of software other than cPanel and I can't really advise you how to do it because I only use cPanel or WHM for VPS hosting so uh, uh, maybe it's time to look at a new web host if that's the case because cPanel is by, by far the, the, the most superior uh, software management for, uh, for your web server and, and uh, excellent for WordPress. So. Uh, so here we go. Let's just look at this. We'll uh, we'll log into cPanel. I'm assuming you ha you're using cPanel, and you'll find the WordPress icon in cPanel there. Depends on who your web host is. Um, you can see all my installs are here. This is uh, using Simple Scripts. Now, all, all we want to do is I'll take one of my test domains, uh, SolutionSocial.com. I just use this for tutorials. I've got a few others set up, but we'll, we'll use this one. And I'll show you how to install WordPress in a subdirectory. So this will be solutionsocial.com forward slash blog. And then we'll just add a, a blog tab to solutionsocial.com. So, so it's all staying on the one domain, and that's 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 the recommended practice because it, that increases your domain authority in the search engine optimization. There's, there's no real point in, in creating a blog on a totally separate domain to than your existing website, unless you unless you're planning on transferring your website content to a new domain, and that's a different story. So, so if you're using simple scripts to install WordPress, um, you just click on install. And, uh, and this is very, very simple. Just wait for that to load. So here we go here. It's already got the latest version of WordPress ready to go there. Now we just scroll down here. And you can install it with the www or without the www. And I, I tend to go without the www. But we've got uh, Solution Social was, was the one we want to install to. We'll just type in blog, and that'll install it in a subdirectory on Solution Social. So it won't affect Solution Social, which is an existing blog anyway. But we're we're using this as an example, existing website. Now, simple scripts. Un unclick these. We got one of this stuff. Uh, advanced options. Uh, A B C one two three. We'll just put in a, a password there so we can access it. 
agree to the terms and conditions. So there we have here, we've just put blogging. This will create a, a subdirectory named blog and install WordPress in that, uh, in that directory. So that's very simple. We'll just wait for that to install a little. Uh, it's normally going to take a few seconds depending on the, uh, on the connection. So here it is here. So here we go here, this is the location of the blog. I'll just click on that and we should see a brand new installation of WordPress at this location. And there we have it there. So that's the blog. If I go to uh, Solution Social, which is the website in this case, so this is your website, Solution Social. What you'll need to do is just add a tab. So all you do is add a tab in the menu, and uh, and you put it here. So you create a new uh, a, a new custom menu here, and, and I'll show you how to do that now. We'll just put blog here. So you have your normal website pages here, your static website pages, and you'll have blog. And depending on which theme you're using, you can put it here or you can put it up here. You can put it wherever you like. Okay, here we are inside solutionsocial.com, the website. We've just installed the blog to solutionsocial.com forward slash blog. So we just need to add a tab to the website so the blog is accessible from the website. So we just go to appearance and then menus. And if you've got a bit of experience with WordPress, you'll understand this. But if you've never done it before, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. It's just basically adding a, a custom the custom menu tab. First we'll have to create a menu so we'll just call this main menu. There we go here. Create menu. I'm just going back to the installation here. Uh, solution social dot uh, forward slash blog. So this is the uh, this is the address we want to put in, the custom address. Um, so we've created that menu. So we go to custom links here, we type in solution social.com forward slash blog. So we want to add this menu tab to the website and we will name this blog. Or you can call it posts or, or, or anything you like really. And we just click add to menu and this will add it to the menu and then we'll save the menu. And then we'll take a look at it. Okay, next step after you've added the, the blog tab to your main menu, then you need to choose which menu you'll be using. So you have to go down here, it's the main menu you want to use. So click on save. Now depending on which theme you're using, um, you can they support one menu, some support two or three. So uh, this is using the default theme for WordPress, which is uh, comes with uh, the WordPress installation. So next we'll go back to Solution Social. So this is our website. We've just added a blog to it. Now this is obviously a WordPress website, if you're using a HTML website, a non-WordPress website, and you're adding a blog to it, it will be a bit different, you'll have to add the blog tab in uh, manually. So, so here you can see we've got solutionsocial.com blog, so this is the new blog I've just added, so it's a total new installation of WordPress. I've added this to uh, the website Solution Social, here's the website here, and I've added a blog tab. So we've got solution social forward slash blog. Now I'll show you how to add a blog to uh, an existing website in a different location. And this time I'll show you how to do it in a subdomain. So it'll be blog.solutionsocial.com rather than solutionsocial.com blog. Okay, the first step we need to do to install 
uh, a WordPress blog on a subdomain to create the subdomain. So under domains and cPanel, we click on subdomains. And we'll just add blog. So here we are here. We'll choose the domain, and in this case, we're using Solution Social as the test website. So the subdomain will be called blog. And that's all we do. Click on create. And that'll create a new directory, uh, which is uh, basically just a file folder um, at that location, blog.solutionsocial.com, on the server. So if you look, if you, if you understand how to use FTP or File Manager, you'll see that that directory, file folder directory, has been created at that location. Success, you can see blog.solutionsocial.com has been created. So we go back now and basically we go back to install WordPress. Back in the cPanel and we look for the WordPress icon. And it's a bit slow to load. By the way, just a quick quick note, um, if you're using shared hosting, uh, I know Bluehost for example, um, install about 6,000 domains on each server, so that's 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 why you might ha might have a slow site. It's, it's got a lot to do with the amount of domains on, on the one server. And I was speaking to the tech engineers there the other day, and they told me it was they've got over 6,000 on each server. So uh, I've switched to VPS now, and I've got the whole VPS to myself. So anyway, let's go back in here, and we uh, we click on install. And we're going to install WordPress this time to a subdomain on the domain solutionsocial.com. First, we have to find it. When you're creating the, the uh, subdomain, make sure you've uh, you've also included uh, blog in the document route. So you put blog here, so it'll be blog.yourdomain.com. Make sure in the document route you also put blog. So it'll be public HTML forward slash blog, and then click create. Now we can go through and install WordPress to the uh, to the subdomain. <coughs> okay, now it's time just to find the subdomain in the drop down here. So we've got the latest version of WordPress here. Um, we're looking for blog.solutionsocial and here we go here. So it's created the subdomain and uh, the subdomain is blog.solutionsocial.com. So if we select this directory, not the uh, solutionsocial.com directory, so this is where we want to install WordPress. Um, click here to display. I'll just put in a, a password create new database automatically, unselect these two things here if you're using Bluehost, click complete and that will install WordPress to the subdirectory blog.solutionsocial.com or in your case it will be blog.yourdomain.com. So it's pretty straightforward and I'll show you how uh, before how to add a tab, you can, you can do exactly the same thing if you installed your blog in uh, in a, in a subdirectory or, or a subdomain, it's, it's, it's very easy to do. So let's just take a look at it now. And here we have it here. This is the blog that's installed into this directory. So, so solutionsocial.com can, can, be, can be your website domain. And it just shows you how easy it is to install WordPress and get WordPress up and running. Um, the only problem you'll have is if, you, if you're not using cPanel or cPanel doesn't offer simple scripts or uh, Fantastico which are programs to install WordPress in one click. In that case you, you'd have to uh, hire someone else to install WordPress or, or work it out yourself. And uh, th That's the reason I suggest you find a really good web, web server. 
And in my opinion, uh, I think uh, HostGator are the best. If you use coupon code WordPress Hosting Sale or coupon code WordPress Site, you'll get 25% off a full year. Cheers.